to the ring is Barry Clough. He was a former light heavyweight in the 70s. Pat Brogan stands in the doorway. Interesting, as John said. Too late to worry. They're coming out the dressing rooms now, led by Pat Brogan and backed up by Barry Clough. Here comes McGee. They approach the auditorium. They'll hear the sound of the fanfare any second now. They're in the auditorium. Up goes the roar of the crowd. The applause. McGee loosening up now. He'll take a swig. He won't swallow that. He'll just gargle and spit it into the bowl. The cowled figure of McGee enters the ring and there'll be another burst of applause. Now he awaits his opponent. And opposing McGee tonight is Jeff Reimer of Kingston upon Hull. There's Reimer. Who'll be feeling the more nervous at this stage, I wonder? Certainly not John Conti as he enters the ring. Always a great favourite. Great believer in Noel McGee. Shakes his hand. As he does. That of Jeff Reimer. And he'll be joining me as usual on the commentary table. Referee call brings the two contestants together for a few last minute instructions. He won't have a lot to say at this stage because he'll have briefed them already in their dressing rooms. He'll have told them about the rules, regulations, all of which they'll be very familiar with. And uh, he'll just be reiterating his sentiments in the few moments prior to a contest. I'm not sure how much of that will actually go in. So close to the opening bell. And that is the opening bell. McGee going for win at number 10. Four of his wins so far have been inside the distance and he plants a left hook early on to the chin of Jeff Reimer. Reimer with an awesome task ahead of him tonight. We've likened this guy McGee to a runaway truck. He really does look unstoppable on occasion. He's had a few hiccups here and there as we've seen throughout the whole ringside series where we've been following his career. But he does keep on winning. And this is his first eight three-minute rounds contest, remember. Right hand's reining in already on Reimer. Reimer, hands cupped close to his temples. Steady forward motion from Reimer. Left hook from Reimer. His first punch of the fight. Good stiff jabs from McGee. introduced early in the action from McGee. The by now familiar style of McGee. Going away, always retreating. Viewed as a fault, if you like. But it's a very cautious kind of tactic. He jabs and then gets out of the way. In fact, he jabs as he's moving out of the way sometimes. As we've noticed in previous shows. He hasn't really capitalized on his enormous, colossal strength. He hasn't really stepped in and used his legs with the full leverage. Good job from Reimer finds its target. Not really a puncher. Reimer, out of 16 wins, he's only won five of them inside the distance. He switches to the body and back on the jab retreats. Punches missing in this opening round. Serving either harmlessly past Reimer's head and shoulders or hitting the gloves of Reimer, which are closely clasped to his head. But there's a right hand from McGee, and a right hand dispatches Reimer. 
in the final minute of the first round. Is all, it's all over. It's a count out. First round, Noel McGee registers win number 10. Well, it was all over. It barely got warmed up. It barely got warmed up. And Reimer is in bad shape. Let's look at it again. There wasn't much to look at. The right hand does the damage. A break away from an exchange here. Not a lot of clean work. Left hook, right hand, left hook, right hand there. That is already on his way. It was the right hand, and you could see Reimer's neck muscles relax as he collapsed in a heap. A blistering right hand there, John. Yeah, it was a good right hand. It was a good finish off. He'd done what he had to do. He'd gone in there. He's strong. He's fit. He's the one going up, and uh, he's took advantage of uh, the situation totally and done his job as a true professional. Well, Jeff Reimer still hasn't recovered fully. It was actually two right hands. The first one clipped him as they came out of the clinch. And then the second completely devastated Reimer. You'll see two coming up. He pushed him. One uppercut. Left, right. And another. And on his way down. And look at that head jerk backwards. Two minutes, 39 seconds is all Noel McGee takes to register his 10th professional win. And you can't get a more satisfactory night's work than that. But the hapless Jeff Reimer, barely warmed his way into the contest, is just limbering up. In actual fact, he hadn't done too badly at that stage because he'd neutralized a lot of McGee's attacks on his gloves and arms. And he'd done a lot of dodging and ducking and made McGee miss quite a lot with those jabs. But when the right hand connected, it was all over. Well, no, fantastic fight. How do you feel after that? Great. I thought, you know, it wasn't so much of this fight because it was over uh, so quick. I must say you've done a really excellent professional job. I felt you got from the last fight, from Ahmed when you fought him, you had seven rounds and I thought you learned so much there as a professional and it showed there tonight. Yeah, I'm learning all the time. Still a lot to work, to work on. To learn with every fight. You certainly look fit and strong and well. Uh, where'd you go from here now? Well, it's after the summer. Have a break, man, and back in the train again for the new season. That's the end of the season now. So just do your road work, not at the gym and then back in the hard train for August, for September. Yeah, there was a good, you were throwing some good left hooks there, but the thing that you finished your fight off with, uh, the punch that finished the fight off, was a right cross. Have you, is that a particular punch you've been working on? Because I haven't seen you throw that right hand. Nothing as devastating as that. Yeah, I've been working on, working on all punches, left hooks, uppercuts with my manager, Pat Brogan here. We're working on everything and trying to improve on everything, hooks, Jobs, everything. Work, work, work. Oh, Pat, he really looks devastating, doesn't he? Yeah, I, I've said this all along, John. You've not seen the best of Noel McGee yet. You know, I mean, uh, the punches that he throws in the gym, as soon as he clicks in his mind, what he can do, he's going to go right to the top. And I predict that by the end of next season, Noel McGee will probably be number three or number two in the country. He'll go right to the top, no further doubt. He certainly looks like it tonight, and uh, I wish you all the best, uh, Noel.